It's just a grocery store, but many in downtown Sarasota spent the last year waiting for the doors of the new Publix at Bay Street and US 41 to open. Today, they lined up to be the first shoppers in the store. As SNN Local News 6 reporter Grant Boxleitner was there when it opened. The Bay Street Publix near downtown Sarasota opened for the first time to customers Thursday, and Lorene Davis was the first one in line. We've been watching the Publix, you know, as it's been uh, built in that, and I like the look of it. And then up the escalator, Davis went, Hello. followed by dozens of others. One of them was Jim Shep. He worked at the Lime Avenue store that closed Wednesday after serving customers since the mid-1950s. It's very significant because my brother and I were the first bag boys that were hired at store number 29. And I was the last one to leave to go to college before I went to my military experience. And shopping on the second floor had many customers talking. Oh, very unusual, but I've seen this in Washington, I think, at one time, and I think it's a great idea. Free items, product characters, and extra staff all greeted customers, along with an upgraded store with features they didn't find a few blocks away. But that was a very old and tired store. It opened back in 1955, and whenever we have the opportunity to get something larger, be more energy efficient, you know, our customers in this area deserve it, so that's where we wanted to be. Reporting in Sarasota, Grant Boxleitner, SNM Local News 6. To get an idea of the crowd out there today, public staff handed out a thousand reusable thermal bags to customers in just the first 90 minutes. Well, the grand opening drew more than just shoppers. A small group of demonstrators also gathered outside the new Publix. The demonstrators were mostly area clergy like from uh, Interfaith like Action. They say they're supporting the Coalition of Immokalee Workers, a group that wants public supermarkets to pay a small premium for produce, such as tomatoes, that would help pay workers in the fields. Just to demonstrate our hope that, that Publix will follow in the, the footsteps of Taco Bell and McDonald's, their two neighbors on either side, which have both signed agreements with the Coalition of Immokalee Workers to help lift up farm worker wages, as well as to improve their working conditions. A public spokeswoman says the company is willing to pay slightly more per pound to growers or packers, but it won't pay farm workers directly because they're not company employees, and Publix won't get involved in the labor dispute.